Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. In this video, ang topic natin is about central limit theorem. If samples of size n where n is sufficiently large are drawn from any population with a mean and standard deviation, then the sampling distribution of sample means approximates a normal distribution. Okay? So, by central limit theorem, the property of sampling distribution of sample mean may be solved using number 1. The mean of the sampling distribution is equal to our population mean. Okay, so next, the variance of the sampling distribution of sample mean is equal to the variance or the population variance divided by n where n is the sample size. Next, the standard deviation of sampling distribution of sample mean is equal to the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n, where n is the sample size. Okay, so this formula, guys, are useful in solving problems involving central limit theorem. Okay, so let's have example number one. If a population has a mean of 7.8, what is the mean of the sampling distribution of its mean? So, dito guys, ang given natin is yung population or yung population mean is equals to 7.8. Okay? So, based in our property of the central limit theorem, the mean of the sampling distribution of its mean is equal to the population mean. Tama? So, meaning, ang population or the mean ng ating sampling distribution is also equal to 7.8. Nakawa, guys? So, next, number 2. If the mean of the sampling distribution of the means is 8.75, what is the mean of the population? So, dito guys, ang given natin is yung ating mean of the sampling distribution which is 8.75. Then, based dun sa property ng ating um, central limit theorem, the mean of the sampling distribution of means is equals to the population mean. So, therefore, the population mean is also equals to 8.75. 75. Nakuha guys? Next, number 3. If a population has a variance of 8.4, what is the variance of the sampling distribution of its means? The sampling distribution has a sample size of 2 and all possible samples are drawn with replacements. Okay, so in this case, ang given natin guys is the population variance which is equals to 8.4. Then we are asked to find the variance of the sampling distribution of its means. So based dun sa formula ng ating uh, central limit or theorem, uh, the variance of the sampling distribution is equals to the population variance divided by n. Okay, so ang ating population variance is equals to 8.4 divided by n, which is the sample size. So that is equals to 2. So 8.4 divided by 2 is equals to 4.2. So therefore, uh, the variance of the sampling distribution is equals to 4.2 Okay? So next, number 4 If the population standard deviation is equal to 3.8 What is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of its means? A sample n equals 4 drawn with replacements so, dito guys, ang given is yung ating population standard deviation which is equals to 3.8. Then, we are asked to find the standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution. 
Okay, so based sa property ng ating central limit theorem, uh, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is equal to the population standard deviation divided by square root of n. Okay, so substitute natin yung mga given natin. Yung ating population standard deviation is equal to 3.8 divided by square root of n where n is equal to 4, so we have square root of 4. Okay? So, 3.8 divided by square root of 4, that is equal to 1.9. So, therefore, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of its means is, is equal to 1.9. Okay? Next, number 5. If the population variance is equal to 3, what is the population standard deviation? So, dito guys, ang given natin is yung ating uh, population variance which is equal to 3. Then, we are asked to find the population standard deviation. So, alam naman natin, ang relationship between the standard deviation is variance is equals to the square root of variance. Tama? Ito yung ating formula to get our standard deviation. So, substitute natin yung 3. So, standard deviation is equals to square root of 3, which is equivalent to 1.73. So, therefore, the population standard deviation is equals to 1.73. Next, number 6. If the population standard deviation is equal to 3.5, what is the population variance? So, ang given natin dito guys is yung ating standard deviation which is 3.5. Then, ang relationship ng ating standard deviation is population variance is standard deviation is equal to the square root of variance. Tama? So, since given yung ating standard deviation, so we have 3.5 is equal to the square root of variance. So, to solve for variance, tanggalin natin yung square root dito guys by uh, getting the square ng ating equation. So, 3.5 square, that is 12.25 is equal to the uh, square root ng ating variance then square so makakancel yung square root and square natin so therefore uh, the variance or, or the population variance is equals to 12.75 okay so next number 7 if n is equals to 5 population mean is equals to 7 and the Population variance is equal to 6. Find the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the means. Okay, so by using the property ng ating central limit theorem, um, the mean of the sampling distribution of the means is equal to the population mean. So since ang population mean natin is equal to 7, so therefore, the mean of the sampling distribution of the means is also equals to positive 7. Okay? So next, bago natin guys makuha yung standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution, so dapat kunin muna natin guys yung ating population standard deviation. Tama? So this is equals kay square root ng ating population variance which is equals to positive 6. So, standard deviation is equals to square root of 6. So, this is equals to 2.45. Okay? So, after natin makuha guys, yung ating population standard deviation, pwede na natin gamitin yung property ng ating central limit theorem, which is the standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution of the means is equal to the standard deviation or the population standard deviation divided by square root of n. Okay, so we have 2.45. Ito yung guys. 
divided by square root of n where n is equals to 5. So therefore, uh, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is equals to 1.10. Okay? So, nakuha ba guys kung paano natin sinolve yung ating mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!